All right, let's check it out. Hello, welcome to a special edition of, of the Fanatics Esports interview where we're on the rooftop of an apartment complex in, in Berlin somewhere that I won't reveal the location of. Um, I wanted to first of all say, we've spoken a little bit and I think we've developed quite a little bit of a friendly rapport, but it didn't start so easy, did it, between us? It was, I mean, we need to squash the beef because mm -hmm. you, I made a request to get you in the interview. You were too lazy to do it and you had to get bullied by Dom and Yamato to do it. And you also said at one point, <laughs> I've got a quote here from you, you need to pay me to do the interview. What did you mean by that? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I, I just, I get a lot of um, requests to do interviews, right? Because people want to use my name, like I bring the clicks, right? So, <laughs> I don't know, I thought like some random wants to do an interview and yeah. get some clicks. So I just declined, right? Yeah. And then after Dom and Yamato talked so well about you, your, about your good You content. know who the big man is now. Let's be, yeah, yeah. Let's be no, very clear. I, mean, no, I respect you, you know. No, well, I'm, you know, that's important. <laughs> that's very important. You know, because you said all of that. I've made you travel across Berlin of your own accord on your off day. You've ended into the danger zone now. Mm -hmm. You know, you're in the danger zone. Talk is cheap. You clearly haven't taken futures market. You also offered me a car for doing this interview. I hope that's parked outside. <laughs> but in all seriousness, get into, let's get into the interview now. Mm -hmm. I recently saw an article. It came out very recently, so you might not have seen it. It was a fan vote that named 25 of Schalke's greatest, I don't know what the translation is, greatest captains or greatest like sportsmen or whatever. You were actually listed in at number 17 for your efforts during the Miracle Run. Despite being at Schalke for such a short time, what is, what's it like to know that you made such an impact on a vast German sports giant? Amazing. I, I mean... <clears throat> oh, wait, there's a thing here. Right? Yeah, yeah, just make sure you're talking a bit louder as well. Okay. Yeah, I think it's amazing that I was named... Uh, number 17. Number 17, like, uh, on that. <laughs> Schalke is a club that I grew up with. I'm from Cologne, so mm. Schalke was always a football club yeah. that I really liked and respected. Wait, Cologne? And I, I had a great Schalke time with Schalke, honestly. It was yeah. a blast. Do you know who number Schalke one was? from Gesekirchen. Number one? Yeah. Should I guess? Yeah. Hmm. Kull has their own team. I mean, maybe Raul? No, he came in at number three. Number Puntelar? one was actually Kire. <laughs> you also played a lot of tennis and guitar as a child. You had guitar <laughs> lessons quite frequently from a teacher. I yeah. couldn't find the name of the teacher, but <laughs> yeah. you had guitar lessons. And I think the only reason you went is because you liked the guitar teacher. I don't think you actually much liked guitar she at all. She was a very nice woman. Yeah, that's good. But you were very athletic and sort of quite active at a time. And you went from a young prodigy, sort of like a Raphael Nadal, so to speak. You've got the man bun on today. Mm. Um, you went from this young sporting prodigy to sort of being bullied by a 45-year-old man for the entertainment of the public weekly. How did, how did, you, how did that transition happen? Um, I, I don't think he's 45, first of all. I think yeah. he's in his 30s, but... Well, you know, I just, 39 I, maybe. I really like I Will Dominate as a person. Like, stream aside... Well, I wasn't saying I don't like him because he's 45. No, I, I, I just really <laughs> like, his, like how he is as a person. Yeah. And I think we get along well. We are both junglers, so we like shared the, the same career in League of Legends as well. And we like to talk about the game together. Yeah. I think that's the most important part. The banter is like... It's very room. romantic. I appreciate that. It's good. It's yeah. nice. I see that um, one of your... Like, we talked about this before. You actually can't get rid of your Facebook. <laughs> so there's a lot of stuff on there that I was able to sort of gleam and, and find as information. One of your likes on Facebook is actually Victoria's Secret. And I wondered if we both take our tops off right now, is that going to be a problem? <laughs> no problem, man. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Maybe we shouldn't do it then. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Do you think that the, the, the mere clan, your family, do you think they're doomed to have stomach-related issues? Zero. It's no? only me. It's only you? Yeah. That's fair enough. I mean, that leads me on to, I mean, you're quite famed and notorious for sort of having stomach-related issues. You're quite consistently talking about how you're, you know, having issues with your bowels and whatnot. You told a story on stream about how you ate so many burgers that you got constipated to a level you had to be hospitalized. Yeah, I mean, I don't really want to get into detail, but... <laughs> That's yeah. fine, because you did it on stream. I'm not really proud of that. I just... It was... I talked about it on the stream because... Yeah, Blood I wanted to get the message is. to eat healthy. Yeah. And I actually changed my whole life around after that. <laughs> 
<laughs> I didn't actually go to the gym once. I was eating burgers every day. I was yeah. just streaming league. And now that it happens. Do you think your stomach? So, because you, you're quite on when you're on the sat, you're always talking about how you shat yourself multiple times. Has, uh, that's completely stopped now that you started eating healthily. I didn't. I never shat myself. <laughs> Close to it. I mean, during this story, they gave you an enema and you had to rush to the toilet, and then you actually forced the child to leave the toilet, and you took his place. Uh, that is a that is different. I mean, <laughs> I. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I was on medications, right? Like, I was in the hospital for like two, three weeks and I couldn't go to the toilet and I was getting worried. And I told the doctor, like, That's I. That's a lot of stories. Like, I didn't do it since six days. Like, I need help. <laughs> I need help yeah, to take they, shit. They found a solution and the woman left when she did it and she said, it's gonna be wild the next three minutes. There's an army out coming. Like, run to the toilet like it's gonna get crazy and i ran for my life and the guy was he 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 was on the toilet i knocked and i screamed child, like, by the way yeah, i was child. like screaming like get the fuck out of there i need the toilet the, the kid like didn't hesitate he ran out um, and i exploded the whole place that's crazy that is uh, not exploded i mean well i think exploded is probably a good word i think so too <laughs> In any case, that's um, <laughs> yeah. very interesting. Uh, well, fair play. So well, is it fair to say that you, you, your stomach's a bit better now then? Of course. That's good, that's good. Of that's course. Have those There's no of course. course. Speaking of health, you kind of got onto you got he's, onto he's, he's, He says of course as if what, what he's experienced on these fucking ass explosion stories is normal. So yeah, of course. A uh, time of sort of what I'd like to call the industrial esports revolution. It's a time where external sports got involved. And there's a big push to try and make esports very legitimate, very serious. You know, you start getting massage therapists or whatever. You were in a documentary in Germany where you had to wear this altitude mask on a treadmill, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you look like sort of 50 cent in that one video, or you look like you're in the world's worst Rocky movie. Can you yeah. talk to me about, is this, did you actually do this? Is this something you did on a regular basis? That mask is part of the thingy, like uh, it's like an oxygen thingy. So they presumably measured your oxygen capacity. What did that? How did that help you do better in games? I mean, they just saw that we are fat, <laughs> and then they tried to make us skinnier. You got your first taste for world when you subbed in for Svenska. In that. Uh, I think it was 2014, wasn't it? Yeah. You almost made it out of the group <laughs> against TSM, and you would have played against Samsung in the quarters if you had made it out of the group. But that wouldn't have been the first time that you've been involved with Samsung, would it? Because I'm from Samsung. Because that's where your parents are from, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what can you tell me about growing up, or not growing up there, but your parents being from there? Samsung, <laughs> it's a nice, nice area. I mean, what nowadays a transition. it's very modern. It didn't always used to be like this. Like the m nicest thing about Samsung is, I think the food and the, um, the that's a I mean, crazy segue by the way that was uh, <laughs> the black sea like mm. swimming in the black sea like you swim with like um what's that called like um that sea is crazy man it's mm. like really salty you can like legit swim so like i think i swam so far with my uncle that we were ne swimming next to dolphins all of a sudden Wait, uh, what? I used to fish jellyfish like um, out of the sea to like clean up the area where I wanted to swim. Yeah. So I would like as a you, kid. You never got stung by one? No, because I knew the technique from my uncle. He said you just have to touch them on the. <laughs> I thought you were talking about another technique. You know, if a jellyfish stings you. I mean, they 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 won't touch me. Like I was. They won't touch I, you. I was too smart. Like I was like legit to take them and like throw them out of the water. You know. <laughs> You're safe around you. the jellyfish. They can never g-check you. You okay. never be g-checked. <laughs> like, like, I, I had cousins who were getting shocked. But not you. No, no, I never actually did. I was too. That is crazy. But I actually have really good awareness in the water. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm no. Like why are you laughing? It's just funny. I'm, I'm a really good swimmer actually, yeah, yeah. and I know what's happening in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, like I actually, I sense if there's a jellyfish about to come. Like, I swear, like, I never had any issues in the water. <laughs> and, I don't know. You can see, so you've got like a sonar, a sonar <laughs> thing when there's jellyfish in the water. No, I swear, man, I'm actually a really fucking good swimmer. Like, 
I think it comes down to my childhood though, like some traumatizing stuff happening to me. Because oh. I was really scared of swimming. I didn't want to go in the water. This is like the plot of Aquaman. This is what happened to Aquaman. Yeah, I swear they would actually like legit force me to swim. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, so you became, that's how you became the esports Aquaman is you got forced to swim yes. by your Turkish uncles. Maybe, yeah. I mean, I, I'm, I'm still grateful that they like forced me to swim, even yeah. though I didn't want to do it. Because now I really enjoy swimming and it's actually a good exercise as well. Yeah. Like it's, yeah, you, you can choose your own pace while swimming, you know, you can cho uh, choose how far you want to swim in the sea. Um, even though it's like kind of dangerous where yeah. I'm from to swim really far. Because I actually had like some family fatalities from that sea. Oh, Ooh, what? Up, right? Yeah. Yes. Fuck it. I mean, that's that sea, like, be Just careful, you know? though. Yeah, be a good swimmer, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck Wonderful. it. That is incredible. I, Family you fatalities, a lot that, man. Uh, I wanted to know what are some of your gym numbers because we've got a lot of uh, fans out there that obviously go to the gym and whatnot. Yeah. Leg press, inclines, bench. Like, what, what are some of your numbers? Uh, I mean, bench press. Uh, I actually didn't go over eighty kilograms yet. Yeah, that's even quite surprising, though, isn't it? Even though I could, like, I, I thought you'd be quite a lot better because you're quite good on, at being on the bench. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I, my friend, I didn't see that coming. And then what, what else do they want to know? I mean, biceps curls, like my biceps, not that strong. Yeah. I do like 16, 17 But you're turning kilograms. into a machine. Soon you'll be a machine. <laughs> yeah, I mean. When can we expect? Like, what's a good date? 2024, the machine rises? I'm already a machine. I just didn't show my body naked yet. Oh. <laughs> no, I, I won't. It's been told by the uh, advisor to never do that. Uh, what can you tell me about this photo? I showed this to you earlier. Quite a young, <laughs> young... Don't put that in the video. <laughs> <thing, laughs> so embarrassing. What are you wearing? What is a t-shirt, blood? That was like these t-shirts that you would buy in Cologne from this Indian uh, place. <laughs> like, there was an Indian place, they would sell Spongebob t-shirts. And these t-shirts... That's where you get any drip. Yeah. That's Bro, cool. that was the drip everyone was buying. Spongebob t-shirts and uh, Rolling Stones, right? Yeah. Rolling Stones, that tongue. You probably did not listen to a single Rolling no, Stones. No, no, never. No. No, but really. that tongue looked You're cool. one of those girls at school that's got one of the hoodies. <laughs> They've got like a Led Zeppelin hoodie and they don't know any of the songs. Yeah. I mean, there was also... You the, were really on your white girl shit back then. 100%. <laughs> I love that. I was <laughs> actually... What at this fuck? time where you see this picture... Yeah. I'm actually going to the city in Cologne, like to the dome, yeah. with like four girls. Like I'm literally there, four girls and me. Yeah. I wasn't putting up numbers. I've never put up numbers like that in my career. Yeah, I... I've done similar. I've done two. For sure, for sure, for sure that's been done. But I've not put up numbers like that. that those are Dennis Rodman numbers. Thank you, man. Serious rebounds. Four blonde girls, I remember. Four blonde teams. And I still am <laughs> in contact with them. I still know them. That is crazy. Are you still in contact with, what's her name? We've got a name, huh? Sorry. What's oh, no. <laughs> There is a challenger screenshot of you getting, I think it's you getting rank one that you posted on Facebook. And yeah. for some reason, I think in a way, I think you've done this on purpose. You've got multiple tabs with chats with girls open. Wait, what? You've got multiple chats with girls open. <laughs> Stop looking at my notes. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's with the rank one screenshot. Do you still speak to a Sophia? <laughs> <laughs> a Sophia? Yeah. Holy moly. I mean, <laughs> former flame. I mean, that's like, I used to be in love with her when I was 15 years old. Yeah, and you got on 2015, around about that time, your challenger screenshot, and then one of the tabs is your chat with her, and that's how we found her. Are you serious? Yeah. I didn't know that, that's funny. You've got to be more careful, man. She was a <laughs> Spanish girl living in Cologne. Do you still know anything about her? You keep up, keep up with her? Oh, no, no, no. I, <coughs> yeah, I don't think she likes me anymore. What, what did you, what, you messed it up? What did you do? Uh, <laughs> no, I just left the city when I was 17 and yeah. she, I never talked back to her again. Listen, if you're out there, Sophia, Gilius' former love, no, no. teenage love. I don't want to. You don't want to? No, like I, I just disappeared from the city. So every contact I had at that yeah. time, I never talked to them again. Do you think that she thinks of you as that mysterious boy that she once knew? I, it's like um, I it's really like one of those songs. It's like yeah, one of those Avril Lavigne songs. He was a boy, she was a girl. She had to watch you go on and be famous, and she's probably thinking, "Where's where's my Burkan?" She was not Spanish, actually. <laughs> <laughs> she was from. 
What is that called? That country? <laughs> I think it's Chile. 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 She what? spoke Spanish though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chile, 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 Chile. Holy yeah. moly, I remember that. Nice brain. That's crazy. <laughs> well, it's wonderful to hear. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I hope that you can one day rejoin. No, them. I don't want to. You don't want to? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, it's worth, worth a try. Been Thank a matchmaker you. and whatnot. <laughs> So I hit rank one while I was talking to her. That's like the yeah. dynamic. I don't know how you didn't get married. <laughs> What's this? Interesting. <laughs> rank one. Like. Maybe she's she is. <laughs> instant, instant. Maybe she is. Maybe she is. Finally, rounding out the interview, I want to talk to you. One of the first things, one of the reasons I wanted to interview initially is you were obsessed with this barking song. Yeah. If you want to sing it with me quickly, I might link my team. <laughs> come, <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Do a little bit. You do it on the stream. Come on. Yeah. I might. <clears throat> I might link my team from barking 7 a.m. in the morning She's calling, I'm yawning She's jarring, I'm stalling <laughs> We'll just stop right there But interesting enough, I lived in barking for four years That's Between it. the ages of 18 to 22 <laughs> I lived in between Ilford and barking And I wanted to tell you a little bit about it I mean, it's got it's got a, a, a plethora of pubs there's a, there's a barking pub I forget what the name of it is I didn't go there too often called the barking dog if you ever end up going there you okay. can get a pint there i don't know if you drink at all mm, not really but Good. i can get an alcohol free pint right Al alcohol free <laughs> pint for sure get an orange juice or something like that from the weather spoons there there's a lot of other stuff there there's a big tesco that you can go to as well barking riverside is very nice maysbrook park there's a lot of stuff available it's actually in... a nice place yeah there's a it's a horrible place oh it's <laughs> horrible <laughs> completely oh, dog shit neck of the woods with awful people. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. It's, but you should go. I think, well, there's been rumours that potentially, you know, MSI was in London. Maybe at one point an event will come back. Mm -hmm. If you ever come to London, we're going to go to Barking. That's going to be a nice little content idea. I'm down now. I mean... <laughs> SK content idea. Gilius goes to Barking. What's your tag on Twitter? 